wrote whatever part I felt like I, in, I liked, sang it and sent it and kind of went about my day because I was working on so many projects in America that you know you have to be present there to be in the studios there so I did the best I could I think it was like 2 a.m. in the morning because because of the time difference I couldn't sleep anyway sang my part and then forgot about it actually forgot about it then I came back to Mumbai and just on a random day, he's like, oh, by the way, um, you know that song, that part you sang? I was like, which part? Because I've sang many parts. That part. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, no, so that is going in the movie, Race 3. I'm like, ah, yeah, with Saman Khan. And I was like, oh. And he's like, yeah, and it's like happening in two weeks and be there. I'm like, uh, okay. So it kind of was like, it just happened. And that's usually how it is. You just work, you do things, and you kind of just let it go. And if someone picks it up and takes it, then it's your luck. If not, you just go about and keep doing more things. I would say one of my favorite experiences was writing and creating and singing on uh, Not Mary John, which is a movie that I did. The name of the movie is ABCD2, which is a Disney India's movie. And... Uh, so when Sachin Jigar, they're the music composers, they connected with me after they saw me singing on India's Raw Star. India's Raw Star is what actually brought me to India. So I thought after The Voice Thailand, I got called to be part of the show. And I was like, well, that's cool. Let me just try it out, not thinking or envisioning anything else beyond that. But they contacted me from that show, told me to write told me to come to their, the studio because they wanted to try my voice out first for this song. And I thought they were just going to let me sing. But they, my, the most special moment for me, which I still cherish now, is when they were like, we would like you to write on it too. Not really knowing too much about my writing skills. They just had faith in me already. And they, they left me in the studio for 15, 20 minutes with the beat on loop. They kind of briefed me a style or a feeling of how they wanted it. And I just went ahead, wrote what I, like wrote that part, went back and forth with them just a few minutes actually. It was instant. There was really nothing there. And they were like, this is good. And I'm like, wait, someone pinched me. What? They're like, no, this is good. And then it's like, we want you to sing in Spanish too. I was like, I can do the Spanish part too. So then I sang in English, Hindi, and Spanish, wrote the English and Hindi part. And that was how I started. And that's how I would say India was like, you can't leave right now. It, this is what made me stay. Um, my toughest would be trying to break the barrier or the norms of how musicians usually are like they just do maybe Bollywood or Indian things like that I feel like I'm trying to do something different I'm trying to cross over as an artist I feel like what I have to offer the, the, the Indian side of me and the Western side of me they're both very strong and they're both a big part of who I am as a person and I want to blend that in a way where it's kind of sounds right or fits properly. Um, currently, I'm working on my first ever international single, which I actually did my, um, during my time in America. So that's the stuff where I'm going to mix some of my elements and the things that I have got from India and, you know, just from growing up, from my experiences and from my background and put it in that song so I get to show a whole different side of me and I'm really really excited about that actually uh, if I like touch one person's life or just like my music or my singing affects even one person to me that I'm successful in that way so I think just being humble being grounded I try to come home a lot so that I connect back to my roots and things like that so I just feel like I've just been myself and trying to follow what I really love and not worry about what other people think. 
ओ ओ ओ नाच मेरी जानाच सुन ओ ओ ओ नाच मेरी जानाच मैं हूँ और तू है पूछता क्यों what to do है मस्तियाँ तो अब शुरू है नाच ले ए ओ ओ ओ नाच मेरी जानाच सुन euphoria colors everywhere we're in a maze oh I find you Hey guys, I'm Rumi Neek and I'm here on behalf of Masala, here to give you a scoop on what is going on in my life. And that's a wrap, and that's a scoop, and that's i uh, I'm good, bye.